Hey there, everybody. I thought it might be beneficial to do kind of a quick walkthrough of this coffee pot, just in case you're uh, considering buying it out there. I uh, wanted to just show you, I opted to get the one that has the permanent filter and um, that's what it looks like. You've got a water reservoir back here for the uh, full pot of coffee. And then you've also got one back here for the uh, K cup option or the um, individual um, cup option, which would be on this side. This is removable. So if you've got a travel mug and you want to put a bigger mug down there, you can do that. If you need to have a smaller mug and you just leave this sitting there, it's pretty easy. Um, we'll go through the controls real quick. It's really pretty basic. You've got this option. If you want a pot, you can see that it's on, um, that right now, if you go here, you can click and you'll see that it goes to single cup option. So pot, single cup. Um, you can program it here as far as your on-off time. If you press and hold this button, the time will start blinking and you can change it. Oops, sorry. You can change it by pressing the button. I'm going to do 5.45 a.m. Once you get your hour set, you just let it blink for a few seconds and then it'll switch over to the minutes. And you can press it or you can hold it down. It does have an automatic shutoff, so once it brews, um, after a while it'll it'll shut off your pot if it's been sitting there for a while. And that's it. When you want to turn on your program, press this button and you'll see that it lights up. That means that your uh, timer is set and it's actually uh, programmed to go off. If you want to just leave the timer set, but you actually don't want to, like, so let's say I don't want a pot of coffee tomorrow, I can press this and it won't brew. I'll press that. And then you've got this other option up here if you want regular or bold as far as the uh, strength of your coffee. And I'm just going with regular and that's it. On off switch, if you weren't doing programming, if you wanted to cut the whole machine off or if you wanted to manually start it. So anyway, I hope that helps. I've been pretty happy with the uh, coffee machine. I don't have any complaints so far and I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.